we've had a break in the weather. The weather seems to be fairly fair. morning y'all hope you're all having a good day um, if you don't know us we're two rebels off grid we quit our jobs we sold our house and we left Colorado as fast as we could and here we wound up in Cochise County Arizona where we are homesteading and making a new life for ourselves and for generations after us. Uh, today I'm kind of hoping to go up on that hill and finish this foundation because our weather is looking pretty good. So, as you know, if you've all been following us, or those who don't know, we're building a chicken tower up top of the hill. And because it is on a unlevel surface, we decided to build up a stone foundation so that it would bring the work site level. And we've been working along these last couple weeks and we got the outer circle done. Uh, a project that was supposed to only take a few days is now, we're probably on our third week, but you know what? We've only been able to work like two days a week because of the weather anyways. And we, as you can see, we're putting up the inside circle now because a typical stone foundation wall would be stone wall, stone wall, backfilled with rock and gravel. There's also people that would be more hardcore and they would actually cement in the rocks in between, but we are adding cement. It's just going to be in layers and it's going to be more or less sporadic because we believe that the caliche and the rock that we have here interlocks pretty perfectly. It's not like it's round rock or anything like that. This, it drops down, it finds its niche in the, in the foundation, it kind of locks in there. So I only need to backfill minimal amounts of concrete. Um, we're going to put up this inner wall. We're gonna backfill it with gravel and rock and sand then put in concrete more more concrete to grab hold of both inside and outside wall and adhere it together so it's all one uh homogeneous mass so it should be able to take the pressure of all that weight we're not putting all the weight on the edge we're bringing it in about six inches from the edge from the outside edge so that all the weight will come straight down onto the solid uh, foundation. We don't want to test that edge too much, right? <laughs> and this also allows us to play around with after the bags are up, we'll have that good six inch lip to do whatever we want with. We can put a slope for runoff of water or we could put a, another veneer of stone so it kind of uh, melts into the hyper adobe bags um, so there isn't a harsh line but we might like the look of the harsh line also. But uh, uh, one of the important things that I need to do is put in lag bolts into the foundation for both the door and the bottle wall. And the measurements gotta be pretty precise. If you saw in the last video, there was like a split second of me drilling through the sill plates of the bottle wall. And the purpose of that was to accept these lag joint, these lag bolts that are up here. Um, we'll, we'll put them in. They got to be dead, dead on. 
We'll set the sill plate in the bottle wall on top, then we'll bolt that thing down with washers and nuts and make it solid. Uh, anything short of a truck running into it, it should stand the test of time, hopefully. Uh, back in the day, some of my inspiration comes from when I was living in Germany and I'd go to the library there and they had these books that were, you weren't allowed to take them home. Uh, they were there on a big table and you were allowed to flip through them. And there was this big tomb, a tomb, <laughs> that's what I call it, because it was pretty old. It was like one of those made in the 1500s books. And it went into details and had drawings and all this stuff of architecture for castle building. And it went down from showing you the buttresses and the stem walls and back filled with gravel. They showed you side planes and above plane views of uh, all these castle infrastructures. Very interesting. Because as you know, we are tending towards an eclectic style on our build site, but we do want to incorporate a bunch of old world stuff. And it appears that my delving, my curiosity as a child looking in those books is coming to help me now <laughs> greatly. So the plan is today, go up there, finish at least the tall half of the wall, the inside exterior, and backfill that in with gravel and stone and sand and concrete, and then put a cap on it that will make it absolutely level. And that's what we're aiming for today and getting those lag bolts in so that we can attach that uh, bottle wall and stem wall. I mean, the bottle wall and the human door, we can lock it down. The frames will be bolted into the foundation. That's what I'm trying to get done today. Uh, let's hope, I know the weather's gonna hold out for us, but let's hope uh, it re remains that way so I can get a good day's work in. Um, Am I regretting doing a stone foundation as opposed to just trying to mess with the Hyper Adobe bags? No, I think that the Hyper Adobe bags would have drove us mad um, trying to put them in at that angle. We would have actually had to do like semi-circles, semi-circles that extended a little bit more and overlapped, and you would have had to tamper it down so it went in level into the side of the bedrock, right? And it would have just been a I think it would have been a mess. I think it would have been possible. It's just, I think that I didn't want to work that hard. I would rather work two weeks on a nice foundation than uh, play around with that. And I don't know how stable that would have been, having the bags on a slope like that. I can imagine them just sliding on down during a good rain. <laughs> At least this is all bolted down. It's all rebarred into the foundation, into the stone. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that you might see a smidget of this foundation in the next video coming up when I continue around and finish it. But it, but other than that, uh, the foundation looks like it's going to be um, the most important parts of it will be done today, hopefully, if I stop videotaping and get to work. Yeah.